All right, you guys, here he is. The ugliest mofo in the entire galaxy, now in adorable 8-bit form. That is something I never thought I would say out loud. Today's been a weird day for me. Anyhow, you guys, this is the one I just got out of the box. Let's check him out. I pretty much hear someone on the internet now screaming at me not to do this because uh, it's supposed to stay in the box and all that. I get it, I get it. But you know what? This is a short review. I was careful taking it and I'll be careful putting it back and then, yeah, it'll stay that way. Let me just... there. All right. Uh, I love this. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I love it. It it's got the details of the actual. It's essentially an 8-bit version of the of the original Predator figure they released, except now done in 8-bit. And I I love the way they did the dreadlocks. Like they got it perfect. With little claws on the side, which remind me very much of the Shredder claws from the 8-bit Shredder figure. Uh, they're lined up perfectly, and they're just painted just to perfection. It's got little little uh square was just on the edge of that where it actually looks like how his armor does they got sort of the weird reptilian colored skin on his face and on his body perfectly they even got the mandibles right and the eyes they were great because the predator was always shown with a yellow eyes in the original at least and it's a great figure it, again it's put they're pretty heavy compared to others yeah just excuse my roommate if you hear that he's just doing his own thing yeah, uh, but yeah, like they, it's a bit heavier than other figures, so I gotta give it that. And, but it looks nice. Uh, one reason why I haven't gotten the normal Predator figure from the basic line is it's kind of ugly. And I know that's kind of what these are, what they're supposed to look like. They're not supposed to be pretty things. But even by the whole like, you know makeover standards that often these figures get to try and make them look a bit more appealing, it just didn't look right. But they did release one that was a uh, specialty series where the Predator was wearing his mask. So I'm going to have to try and find that at some point because that one's awesome. But I'm also super happy that I got this. I already showed you guys the box last episode where I got the socks and the lanyard. But the figure itself is amazing. There also, as I did mention, there was a chase variation of it which you could have gotten in the box. And if I had gotten the chase, well that would have been awesome. But at the same time, I'm totally happy having got the normal version. Because, well, the Chase version, it's not like he's bloodied or wearing a mask or holding a skull. It's just him clear and glow-in-the-dark, like white and glow-in-the-dark. And while that is awesome, once again, it kind of takes away from what I think they were trying to do. Like, him all white, I get that they're trying to make him look invisible. But they did that with the San Diego Comic-Con one and did it much better. Granted, that thing's like 80 bucks now, so I'm not going to waste my time on cash on that, but... Either way, my point still being, really good figure. The mold, it's sturdy, it's strong, and all the little details just on the side of his head, like with his head shape and the different sort of almost texture and layer of his skin looks great. The coloring is spot on for how he looks normally in the original movie. They went through so much effort to sort of recreate, like literally bit by bit, pun intended, every single detail from his feet to his hand. I like the blocky sort of hand he has, the armor, and the pads all over him. So the mold is awesome. The paint job is fantastic. It's a solid figure. It's probably one of the cleanest I have, to be honest. Like, a lot of figures, they often have like a little scuff or something. This one, I can't find any. And I'm not gonna jinx it by accidentally scratching it or something. So, whoops, like that. So let me put it back and then I'll talk about the box. Cause it's pretty simple to talk about the box. box it's the exact same as what they used for the original predator figure with the whole classic send up to the thermal vision the target sort of a reference to the poster for the original predator movie from the 80s and that movie's like 30 years old now when you think about it that's crazy uh but I, again i like how they've actually like it's a really good picture on the side uh as usual i have no idea what they're talking about with the numbering here but i don't think anyone does so whatever uh gamestop exclusive obviously i've mentioned that like a 10 times by now and the top fit part 
it looks it again it just looks funny so can i recommend the 8-bit predator oh yeah i definitely can thing is there's a slight problem with him straight up i'm giving him an a grade because i think he's one of the best i've seen so far and i know i've been saying that a lot but each new figure that comes out seems to outdo the last problem is you can't just walk into a store and buy them. You have to take a you have to take a gamble and get one of these. I, like I said in the video on that box, I'm super lucky when it comes to stuff like this. So I got the first one. I got what I wanted first shot. And if you don't, you're gonna get an awesome 8-bit figure unless you hate 8-bit figures. And in that case, why did you bother buying the box? Because it says clearly on it it'll come with an 8-bit figure. My point still being, if you can't get them right away. Give them a few weeks and check eBay. Right now, from what I've heard, the prices for these are going berserk on eBay because, well, of course they are because people want to try and make as much money right away out the people who don't want to take a gamble on oh, getting a blind box and getting a character they don't like. But eventually it'll calm down. I'm just happy I got him right away. And he's definitely going to have a long, happy spot on the shelf with the others. And until next time, you guys, later.